So we know that anatomy learning can be hard, but also pretty boring at times. So would you like some cool memory aids to help you with your anatomy of the wrist and the hand? If that's what you're here for, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So if we're doing anatomy tutorials, there's only one place to start, and that is our 3D anatomy model. So guys, let's dive into the wrist first of all. Now, the first memory aid we're going to give you is one that helps you remember the key muscles of the hand that are supplied by the median nerve. So if you have a patient who has carpal tunnel syndrome or a median nerve palsy, how do you know which muscles are affected? Just remember the loaf muscles, L-O-A-F. Let's go through this. So first of all, L. This stands for the lumbricals, and in particular, the first and second lumbricals, because the third and fourth ones are supplied by the ulnar nerve. So the lumbricals are responsible for flexion at the metacarpophalangeal joints and extension at the interphalangeal joints of the fingers. Then we have O, which stands for opponens pollicis. So pollicis relates to the thumb, and as you can imagine from opponens, this muscle has a responsibility in opposition of the thumb. Then we have A, which stands for abductor pollicis brevis. So once again, pollicis relating to the thumb and abductor relating to abduction. So as you can imagine, that is the chief responsibility of this particular muscle. And then we have F, which stands for flexor pollicis brevis. Once again, pollicis are relating to the thumb and flexor, this muscle is responsible for flexion of the thumb. So next, how do you remember the carpal bones? Now, warning, this memory aid can be construed as a little bit rude at times. However, I promise you, you absolutely won't forget it. So the memory aid is some lovers take positions that they can't handle. Some lovers take positions that they can't handle. This helps you remember the key carpal bones going from the thumb or the radial or the lateral side of the wrist going across to the ulnar or medial side of the wrist. Once again, I know it's rude, but you absolutely won't forget it. I learned this over 15 years ago at physio school and not once have I forgotten my carpal bones. So let's go through it. So some, the S stands for the scaphoid bone. Then we have L for lovers, which is for the lunate bone. Then we have T for tri, which is also for the triquetrum. Then we have P for positions that also stands for pisiform. Then we have that they can't handle for the second carpal row. So the first T stands for that, which stands for trapezium. Notice, by the way, trapezium is under the thumb. Then we have T for they, which is for trapezoid. C for can't stands for capitate and H for handle stands for hamate. So there you go. Those are the carpal bones. Some lovers take positions that they can't handle. I know it's rude, but you won't forget it. So next, we have a memory aid for the interossei muscles of the hand. And in particular, how do you remember what the different groups of muscles do? Well, just remember pad, dab, and we'll take you through that in a second. So first of all, the interossei muscles are a set of intrinsic muscles located between the metacarpal bones of the hand. Now, they're separated into two key groups. First of all, we have the dorsal interossei located on the dorsum of the hand. And then we have the palmar interossei located on the palmar side of the hand. So pad, dab. Pad stands for palmar adduct and dab stands for dorsal abduct. So there we go. The palmar interossei are responsible for adducting some of the key fingers. We can see here that they're located in between the second, fourth and fifth digits and they therefore adduct the fingers towards the center of the hand. Then we have the dorsal interossei on the dorsal side of the hand and they abduct. So the dorsal interossei also are spaced between the different metacarpal bones and once again they are going to abduct the fingers away from the centre of the hand. 
So there you go. Pad, dab, palmar, adduct, dorsal, abduct in terms of the interosseous muscles. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button. It really helps us create even more brilliant videos like these. Remember, you can find even more of our content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, by following us on Instagram, at Clinical Physio, and by checking out our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.